So is it a good idea to run away from home? Maybe parents treat you so well when you get home. I would say my parents are excited to this world. So does anybody know what I think the answer is on page 75, the last paragraph. Can you read it out loud? Then I smelled it. I almost stopped talking in the middle of a sentence. The smell was so strong. Chris was over on the other side of the room, but I saw her looking around. I want to address the group. I'll pass for one second, please. Can you stop for one second? It's not like you to describe it. Beyonce, okay. I want to remind you of two things. If you're the facilitator, then your job is to remind the people who are answering questions to find evidence in the text. If you're the harmonizer, you're supposed to be asking everyone to keep their voices low in the group because the traveling to all the other groups, when I'm sitting with a group, it's hard for me even here in the group. So you're speaking loud enough for your group to hear, but not loud enough for me to hear you across the room, right? Okay. Go ahead. Should I continue? Yeah. The air seemed to be gay, thick, and parts of my head were begging for it. I didn't know whether to run or stay or what. Then I turned around and one of the men passed me a joint and that was it. I wanted to be ripped, smashed, torn up as I had never wanted anything before. This was the scene. These were the swingers and I wanted to be part of it. Um, I don't really exactly understand what it actually how, they, how it gets to the question. I don't really understand. Can you please explain it to me since you get that answer? Like, what is your point of view? Okay, so. She got, she felt like weird because she wanted to, like, because this question says that after bowing to never do drugs again, how, how do Alice and Chris get mixed up in the drug scene in San Francisco? It's right here, they're in the party in San Francisco where the lady always invites them. So this guy had a joy and she smelled it and she vowed to never do drugs again so she wanted to do it but she couldn't. But did she do it? did do it, but then she don't want to do it. The question is asking how they got mixed up for drugs. And that just says when they, when they vowed to never do it again, right? Yeah. But I think that's the beginning. I think you're right. You're on to it. That's the beginning of when maybe she feels like she'll go back on her vow. She smells it. She's around it. Okay. In page 76, the second paragraph, uh, the rest of the evening was fantastic. The lights, music, and sound were part of me, and I was part of them. It was another incredible excursion, and it went on for I don't know how long. Chris and I bought few shoes. I can't hear you that well. And it was early afternoon before we pulled ourselves together enough to go back to the park going to the four walls. Okay, so they decided that they weren't going to do drugs anymore because it wasn't working out for them. And then, um, who's Sheila? She was the lady that was with her manager's wife. 
Uh, yeah, her manager. So if you think about the influence that someone who is your boss has on you and invites you to a party, and at the party everyone's doing drugs, and you could have made a vow not to do it, but you don't want to let them down, you don't want to look. You want to be like them. Yeah, you want to be like them. You want to fit in, right? But I... Oh, so I think that she made that vow before, and then she went to the joint as a girl. Like that's when she got influenced to do it again. Right. So then, wait, aren't we way up? Because then if she made the vow. Oh no, no, no. no. Yeah, when she starts to go to parties with her boss, with her manager, and they're doing drugs at the, those parties, that's when she and Chris, again, decide, well, if my boss is doing it, my boss is, um, she's professional and she's successful, so what's the problem? It's not like it's some grimy person. She's supposed to be an elegant woman. <laughs> So then what happens that makes them leave San Francisco eventually? Because they're going to parties with the manager. Because I put in my aunt that she would set them up at one of the parties that they had. Right. Okay. Do you know what page is? Okay. I'm going to direct you. Yeah. Yeah. What paragraph? Okay, yeah. It's right from the from the bottom of 77 to 78. Oh. Okay, so you can talk about that one. Oh. I am lost. Where are it's, we? it's on It's like on page 77 that continues on the, the top of 78. Oh, okay. Like December 3? <laughs>
that she was like trashed and the adults were saying that like she's the best because she can be helped by the other kids they don't want to do you have any suggestions for all people to connect with that department? It sounds like we're just making friends connect with the group. Why do you agree? Why do you agree now? That's the best part. The best part is that she was a bad example. Yeah, she was a bad example. I couldn't quite hear that. Were you remember reading that? A little bit louder? Mm -hmm. I agree because the adults were, were saying that she was a bad example because they found out what she was doing. Why were they think she was a bad example? What was she doing? Let me say that this is a this is a big part that shapes her character. This is this is a part in the book where she has a crossroads. So she decided to leave home and she went into drugs and she was making bad decisions and then she gave up and she came home. She called mom and she said, I, I surrender. I'm going back to school. I need to do this right. And now people aren't so happy about her being there. You're going to influence my daughter to be mad now. I don't want you in the class. You ran away. And so she starts doubting herself. Maybe I'm a bad person. Maybe they're right. So this is a big turning point in her character as how she progresses. How does how you feel about yourself influence how you perform in school? You act. You are toilet people? Yeah. And I've heard students who make a bad decision say, I'm a bad person. And they feel like they have to just continue to own that. Have you seen that? Yeah. You look like you've really seen it. Why? What do you mean? How? Yeah. How did I feel? Yeah. Or how did you live it? Probably I'm one of them. How? Um, it's just like like people don't understand like other people like, like you know like you do bad things and then you feel like you're a bad person? Yeah. It's like some people like don't give up, they give up and then like be saying, oh I'm dumb, or I'm, I'm like, you know, like that. Yeah. Yeah. They keep on saying that and like, they, they, instead of going for it, they go backwards. Yeah. 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 So like, yeah. 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 Y